a rocky start. Okay, we're going to call the meeting to order. Attendance has been taken. Approval of the agenda, please. Councillor Howes and Councillor Pierce, all those in favor? Declaration of pecuniary interests, seeing none. Uh, before we begin, begin, I'd like to remind everyone when they're speaking, please make sure your microphones are on. And for those that are in uh, TV land there, it's uh, hard to hear if they're not. And even when they're on, please speak into them. Councillor McAlpine, <laughs> we can't hear you on TV. Uh, and also, I'd like to announce that we have our two provincial appointments to the Police Services Board, uh, Jim Brown and Marty Verhey have been appointed. We've been waiting for those appointments, so we have a, a full police services board now that just came in this afternoon, late in the afternoon. So thank you for everyone who put their name forward. Delegations. First one is going to be, Councillor Gatwood is going to speak to it. Microphone, please. I think we should ask Officer Kevill to come forward. This side, please. <laughs> On behalf of the County of Grant Council and County of Grant Police Services Board, we are pleased to present to you tonight a certificate of appreciation in recognition of your selfless and brave response to a transport truck traveling the wrong way on Highway 403. On September the 30th, 2018, Constable Kibble was off duty from the Brant County OPP. Operating her personal vehicle on Highway 403, she observed a transport truck traveling eastbound in the westbound lane of Highway 403. She followed the truck onto Middletown Line Road and put both her safety and her vehicle in the path in order to stop the truck from approaching a blind S-bend and endangering citizens traveling on that road. Constable Kibble remained on scene until uniformed members arrived to arrest the intoxicated operator. As a result of Provincial Constable Kibble's brave actions, she, prevent, she potentially saved numerous motorists from being seriously injured or killed. The County of Brant thanks Constable Kibble for her bravery courage and dedication to the county and its residents. And if we had a key to the city, we'd give it to you. Oh, thank you. But we I don't have one. It. So they're going to take a picture right there. And you're going to look as proud as a peacock. Thank you, everyone. Our second delegation is going to be Mark Dinsmore from Glen Morris. Good evening. Usually they say the best for last, but I guess I'm second. I am Mark Dinsmore. I live at 645 Glen Morris Road West in the beautiful little village of Glen Morris. I moved there June 9th in 17. I would not have moved there, folks, if I had known how hectic that road is. Back up some? How's that? Okay. Um, twice this year, um, I believe late January and early February, I phoned the OPP detachment and said, hey, it's crazy out here. Um, during the next week or so, I saw at least three vehicles out there, lights blaring, awesome. Haven't seen them since. I know you're busy. Um, and 
my opinion, the speed limit there is too fast. It's currently at 60, it should be at 40. Also, we should have signs up saying, slow down, there are our children here playing. Also, we should have, um, what's the word, intermittent speed bumps. And we should have the signs up sh showing them how fast they are going. On at least two occasions in the last two or three months, on that road, I've had folks pass each other. Pass each other in a 60 and also on a double line. And I have friends who also live on um, um, East River Road, and it's the exact same. We need more enforcement. We need to address the poor, poor driving habits of those in our community. We have a dog, we have three kids, and I would like to keep it that way. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Concerns? Uh, can you, Mr. Ginsmark, can you stay here until we see if there's any? <laughs> Very comfortable with the mic. Councillor Pierce. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Through you to the delegation. Um, it's definitely something that, that we've discussed around this table, and uh, just I'm not sure if you're aware or not, but in the 2019 budget, we've actually put um, a, a good chunk of money into our, or from our budget for this type of speed control in the county, for countywide. So it's definitely something that, uh, that we are, I don't want to say we are aware of it, but we know that it happens, and we're looking at ways to, to see how we can combat it as well. And one of the ways was to put uh, um, uh, an initial chunk of money into the budget, and then around this horseshoe it was decided that that wasn't quite enough, so we put an additional amount of money on top of that. So it is something that we, are, we take seriously and we are looking into. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Okay, thank you very um, much. Timeline for that? Yes, Councilor Mr. Rose. <coughs> Excuse me, through you, uh, Mr. Mayor. So the, 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 the way this, the discussion has gone so far is staff is going to come back to council with recommendations. Um, there, in some of our discussion uh, earlier, there was a, I think it was Councilor Chambers who had brought forward a, a 3E approach, which was enforcement, which you mentioned, engineering, which you also mentioned, and I think education. Um, so all, basically all of the, the signs, the speed bumps, the, the here's how fast you're going, and the increased police presence are all, all factored into those, uh, those strategies. And we're just going to be waiting for our staff to come back with recommendations on how to best use the budget money that we have put together. Now, um, maybe the CAO can give us a ballpark idea of the timeline on when that staff report is going to come back. Mr. Bradley? Through you, uh, Your Worship, you were uh, meeting tomorrow to uh, craft out that report, so we would hope to have it in one meeting cycle. So. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Mr. Dinswell. Uh, can I get a motion to refer this to Public Works, please? Councillor Coleman, second by Councillor House. All those in favor? Thank you. Um, adoption of the minutes from the previous meeting. Councillor Wheat. Moved by myself, second by Councillor McAlpine. County Branch Council minutes of January 21, January 22, and February 4, 2019, be approved. All those in any questions? All those in favor? Thank you. Business arising from those minutes? Consent items? Consent items to be approved. Councillor Miller? Yeah, moved by myself, second by Councillor Coleman, uh, that the following consent items be approved uh, one to five, unless so somebody wants someone pulled. Councillor Pierce? Sorry, Mr. Mayor, we just skipped B and C. Um, Mm, Councillor Wheat oh. did all three. Oh, was it I all? You called the, I'm, I apologize. I thought you had called the vote to receive, and I handed them in. I will go and get them back. Sorry, no, no, no. If it was all three, then I'm good with that. I just, I I just heard 5A. My apologies. Thank you. Thank you. 
Carry on, Councilor Miller. As I, you am, were. I have completed what I was supposed to do. Do you have a seconder? Councilor Coleman. Coleman? All those in favor, the receipt. Councilor Pierce? Um, a question, if I could, for, for 7A1, the ones for the, the public works. Um, for 7A1, the, the, the PW1908, the RFT-18-22, the solid waste facilities operations, um, it talks in there that um, they, they talk about daily operations of Vigors Lane landfill, excluding scale house duties and transportation of bins from the parish transportation. Um, like, not to make light of it, but what else is there to do? Is it just the fact of moving the garbage around? I'm just trying to understand that. Mr. Bradley? Oh, Mr. Walton? Through the Mayor of Council, um, the work there actually does include the transportation of the solid waste, waste bins. Just the way that sentence reads, it may not be clear. So it involves that and the operation. So the daily cover, the, the, the excavation of cells, all of the actual operations. Um, and the, the current contract actually did not include the scale house as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you for that clarification. Um, and if I could further to the, the next one there, the uh, RFP 18-08, the automated meter reading. Um, this is great that we're doing this. And it, and it talks here, it talks in there, it says um, they're failing and, it, and it's taking, uh, it's consuming staff time and the fiscal resources to repair them. And as they're older, they generally read lower than the actual consumption. I'm wondering if we have any indication as to um, how much, like this is a, a great money saver I'm thinking here, and I'm just trying to get an idea of how much time and efforts are, are we saving here, as well as do we have any indication as to um, how much generally they're under, so we're going to be getting that back as well. I'm curious on that, because this is a great thing. Through the Merit of Council. Um, I don't have those figures right, right in, at my fingertips, but we did, using Diameter Solutions, we did do a business plan for this, which we did put to Council, mm -hmm. I'm yes. going to say last um, August or September, I believe, some, sometime around that time frame. And we did talk about the cost savings of all of, all of those in that, and uh, it did promote a positive business plan for this whole um, go forward of this project. Yeah, this is a, it's a great thing. Okay. Um, okay, I, I, I'll have to go back to my notes because I don't recall those, so I'll have to go back through my notes to see if I can find that because that's a this is, this is great because what I'm thinking here with the 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 savings we're getting on this it's it's not really going we're going to recoup that cost in a hurry from what I'm understanding by the by the way you know with the time and the effort and the, and the things under under metering is that a fair statement do you think through the mayor of council I believe that the 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 turnaround time on the payback of this is in the in the few years not that not the ten to fifteen years the just a, like a three to five year sort of a, a payback, I believe. Excellent. Okay. Thank you for that. Any other questions? That was. Sorry, Mr. Mayor, if I could. So, if it was for the the ones to be approved and received, or was it just approved? So, if it received as well for seven B three, uh, the gas tax funding for transit, um, it talked about. There, there's a couple things in here because there's also a bylaw for it. It was received on January 22nd, and it said the deadline was January the 31st. And now we're doing a, a bylaw for it tonight. Are we too late to take advantage of this? If it said the deadline was January 31st, I have I have that down to be received. Are, are we not still doing the the ones that Mr. Councilor Miller? We are. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not, jumped ahead. Sorry, we're not quite there yet. All right. All right, so is there any other questions to what's before us? All those in favor? Thank you. Councilor McAlpine? Yep. Okay, moved by myself, seconded by Councilor Howes. Consent item to be received as information 7B1 through 15. Councillor Pierce. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Through you, uh, for 7B3 there, 
Um, like I say, it, it, the, the report was received on the 22nd of January, and in that report it states a January 31st deadline. And then there's something in there that we're going to be signing the bylaw or approving the bylaw for tonight. I just want to make sure that we didn't uh, lose out on this. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Bradley? Mr. Mayor, I see staff saying we're fine. So We're good on it? Okay. Excellent. Um, and just uh, as an interesting point for 7B4, um, we had, I know we talked around this horseshoe as to, you know, what the, the second payments would be. I guess, it, you know, it's better than nothing, but I don't think it's going to cover our costs, and I'll leave it at that. Thank you. Councillor Miller. I, I believe, uh, Councillor McAlpine, we're approving uh, C items as well from the circulation file. Yes, we are. And just, uh, I'd like to speak to yes. C1. Um, there's uh, a message from AMO regarding uh, joint and several liability, and I applaud the provincial government for reviewing that. Um, we as a county did meet with a provincial minister uh, not that long ago, and all we got at the time was a shrug of the shoulders, and they basically said, well, who do you, would you like to pay for these lawsuits? So um, I, I think it's a good thing, so quite happy to see that. Any other questions or concerns? Do you have a seconder? Councillor House? All those in favor to receive? Thank you. Committee reports, Councillor Chambers? Uh, it's moved by myself and seconded by Councillor Pierce that the uh, Committee of the Whole 2019 budget report uh, be uh, received and the recommendations therein be adopted along with the minutes of January 16th, 23rd, 30th, and 7th, or February 7th. Do you have a seconder? Uh, Councillor Pierce. Councillor Pierce? Any discussion on the budget before we call the vote? No concerns? All those in favor? Thank you. The OPP, Councillor Pierce? Uh, moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Gatward, that the Brant OPP Detachment Committee Report of January 22nd, 2019 be approved. <clears throat> Any questions? Councillor Pierce? Call the vote. All those in favor? Thank you. Community Services, Councillor Pierce? Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Howes, that the Community Service Committee Report of February 4th be approved, noting there are three recommendations. Councillor Miller? Yeah, uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, let me throw you to the chair. Um, item three is, you're, it's not going out to tender for the lighting. And I read the minutes, I couldn't, I couldn't decipher why that was the case. I just wondered if you could, uh, quote unquote, shed some light on why that's happening. Whereas uh, three, It, it, I think it was just the fact that the, the lights are, it was part of the budget. It was a budget item. Yeah, it was. Councillor Miller? Uh, no, as in, that's not, <laughs> that's not a reason to go to direct negotiations. Um, if it's not going out to tender, there's, there's certain r r uh, reasons why we don't do that. Um, one of them being, for example, um, the Maybe the contractor has uh, experience with it or, or whatnot. So I'm just, I, I have no idea why that would go out, why it didn't go out to tender. Uh, through you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, staff recommended uh, we go directly to that supplier as that's the lighting system that we're currently using um, on the other sports field at Green Lane as well as um, our other field in Paris. Um, so there are some synergies with using the uh, same lighting system that we already have in place. Okay, that, that's what I was looking for. Thank you. Any other questions for Councillor Pierce? Councillor Gatwick? Thank you, um, Mayor Bailey. Through you to um, Chairman Pierce. Uh, number two on the uh, report, the increase to the building rental to $150, and it was $113. Um, 
in my mind, that's a large increase, $47 per usage. Um, was that suggested by staff, or how did that large increase come about? Um, uh, thank you. Uh, through you, Mr. Mayor, to Councilor Goward, that was actually the question that I asked at the community service, because um, I had, a few of us thought that it was a big jump as well. Um, there was a discussion on it, and what that does is it brings it in line with our other community halls. So that was that was the rationale behind it to bring it to that point. So it brings it in line with other community halls of that size and nature. But that question was definitely asked. Yeah, because I I always looked at Glen Morris as a smaller hall. I don't know how many square feet it is. Was there a report that showed the square footages of the various halls? No, there was not. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions for Councillor Pierce? Seeing none, call the all those in favor. Thank you. Councillor Pierce. Uh, moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Goward that the Brand OPP Detachment Committee report of February the 5th be approved. Any questions? All those in favor? Thank you. Carry. Councillor Wheat. Planning? Two moments. Sorry. Two moments. I'll second my count by member Coleman. Planning advisory committee report of February 5th be approved. Melvin Dara Trio. Any questions? Concerns? All those in favor? Opposed? Carried. Thank you. Councilor Chambers, corporate development. Uh, Mr. Mayor, it's moved by myself and seconded by Councillor Pierce that the Corporate Development Committee report of February the 11th be approved. Councillor Pierce. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Through you. Um, so it states in there for 8, uh, for 8 up, it, it talks about the, um, the, the payment for the CCOB of 27985 Can somebody refresh my memory of what the original ask was? Councillor House, uh, through you, Mr. Chair, I believe it was uh, one hundred and forty-three thousand dollars. No, no. Mr. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The original ask, uh, they, they, their, their total cost was one hundred forty some thousand dollars. Their ask, their, their shortfall was forty-seven thousand, forty-seven and change, I think. So. Okay. And thank you very much. The, uh, figure we worked out. No, nope, that's fantastic. Thank you. No other questions. Call the vote. All those in favor. Those carried. Public Works, Councillor Gatwood. Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Coleman, that the Public Works Committee record of meeting of February the 12th be approved. Any questions to Councillor Gatwood? All those in favor? Opposed? Carried. Councilor McAlpine. Uh, moved by myself, seconded by Councilor Pierce, that the Tree Conservation Committee report from February the 13th be approved. Any questions for uh, Councilor Miller? I just, uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm wondering if the chair could maybe explain item number one. Um, are we looking at a review committee? Are we looking at an ad hoc committee? Um, I'm not sure the you asking two Woodlot Association members to sit on what? Councilor McAlpine? Okay, so we're, we're going to be asking two Woodlot Association members to be sitting on the committee in the future. And it's going to be ad hoc, I guess. Okay, I'm, not, I'm still not clear. <laughs> um. yeah, so I'm new to this. <laughs> I, I don't want to put you on the hot seat. I'm just trying to understand. Is okay. it, uh, like I say, is, is it, 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 I don't think we're appointing them to the Trees Conservation Committee, but is there, my understanding, okay, right. um, not having not been there, was that staff was going to prepare a new, uh, a new uh, Trees Conservation uh, Bylaw in light of, you know, changing provincial regulations 
and what I was hoping for, but um, was that uh, certain vested groups could have input into that before we, you know, before it come out. Um, but the recommendation, the motion from the, the, the committee is to appoint two members to, and, and I'm going to leave that blank because I don't know what they're appointed to, so I just, I'm, I'm wondering what they're appointed to. Councillor Coleman, can you help out? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yes, I can help. Um, those two committee members will, are from the trees, um, Woodlot Association, will be there to help when we write the new guidelines and whatnot for, for, for the cutting trees in the county. That's, that's what it's for. They're not going to be sitting on the trees committee as, as they shall. Is that clear? Councilor Miller? No. No? <laughs> what else do you need? Well, I'm, I'm wondering where they're going to be sitting. That's what, that's what I guess. With the committee? With the, with the staff. Councillor Coleman? With staff up in there. Okay. You're okay, Councillor Miller? Councillor Wheat. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It appears to me the way I read it that they're going to represent the association on a review of trees conservation bylaw. So we're going to Obviously, staff is going to review the bylaw, so that's where they're going to sit. It's it's clear as mud to me. It's clear as crystal clear water. They're going to sit on a review committee and get their their input when we re, when we do a new trees conservation bylaw. Nowhere does it say that they're going to be on the trees conservation committee. Councilor Miller, is that as clear as you think Mr. Wheat thinks it is? Well, um, well I, I'm, I'm okay with it for now. Thank you. Thank you. Councilor Gatwick? Well, Councilor Wheat just said a review committee. I don't think there is a committee per se. I just think that these two association members are going to assist staff with the preparation and some of the rules and regulations to do with trees. I think that's what Councillor Wheat thought he said. That's yeah, what Councillor exactly. Councillor Coleman said. Yeah. Coleman said the same thing. Do you use the word review committee, Councillor Wheat? There is no committee. Any other discussion? <laughs> Councillor McAlpine, you're okay. We're going to call the vote, please. All those in favor? Opposed? Carried. Thank you. Staff reports. There aren't any. Information reports, there aren't any. Communications, we've had communications from the City of Brantford to resurrect the Joint City and County Committee to examine service sharing. Um, that's something we can decide on tonight um, or we can put to another meeting. There's interest, Councillor Mark? Yes, um, first name basis. Um, Always. <laughs> yeah, this, this is interesting. Um, we do partnership uh, with the City on a number of uh, initiatives. Uh, however, it's also worrisome because, you know, in, in casual conversation, even today when we were at a wonderful event, um, some of the councillors from Brantford are very, very interested and it's, it still sounds like amalgamation and things like that. So I think we have to be very, very careful, uh, very, very prudent um, with um, how we approach this. Um, just by way of opinion, I, I'm, I'm not in favour of, of merging library services as they uh, have said over and over and over again, and I won't be unless our library service says that they would like to see a merger, and I don't think they would. Um, but other things we, we can definitely look at, uh, regional transit plans, things like that, I think are, are, there's some fruit here, but by accepting this communication, we're not accepting all the terms that they have, uh, they have deemed in this letter, correct? Right. We're not accepting anything but to put the committee back together uh, as a county and as a city to talk about things. Libraries not mentioned, nothing like that's been mentioned. Uh, Councillor Wheat. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm going to endorse what uh, Mr. Ferrier said about the library because we were this close to having reciprocal borrowing with the City of Brantford a year ago, and this committee messed it up. This, this library does not need to go to this committee. But I will not support library services being discussed. Councillor Gatward. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I, um, 
I would agree that we could take another stab at getting reciprocal borrowing from the city. And we are. And um, that's great to hear that we are. Uh, animal control, I did some digging a while back into our, our animal control services and I was quite surprised to find out some of the things that our current provider does and services they use that are not in our county. So I think that's a very good one to con consider looking at so people don't have to go and get their dog back in inner Um And I would like to volunteer, Mr. Mayor, to sit on this committee. So we need a resolution first to decide whether we're going to even spark this committee back up again. Um, Councillor Chambers? I will move that uh, staff be requested to prepare a report uh, with the suggested terms of reference that uh, our side of the committee could work toward. And uh, at that time, uh, the terms of reference would uh, uh, address uh, membership in terms of numbers, not in terms of people. And we could deal with that at the next uh, CDC meeting and uh, go from there. So Thank that you. would be a motion. So, Councillor Ferrier. Um, any other discussion? Calling the vote to, to support the resolution? All those in favor? Opposed? Carried? Noting that Councillor Gatwood would be interested if the committee were so deemed active. The bridge, Brantford Pride, Pride, it's a resolution to support and approve the flag raising for Pride. Councillor Ferry? Yeah, I'll make the resolution to, um, to uh, I'm not sure exactly how to word this, but I'll make a resolution to uh, take part in a flag raising event in Council Chambers on Monday, June 10th, 2019, and fly the flag that week for Pride Week. Should be a seconder. Councillor Gatward, any discussion? When we choose to fly flags for any, any occasion, which flagpole do we use? The one right out here? Do we do it throughout the county or just the one? Just the one. Okay, any other discussion? All those in favor of supporting flag raising? Opposed? Carried, thank you. Victim Services of Brant request for a proclamation of National Human Trafficking Awareness Day. Councilor Gatward. It's um, moved by myself, seconded by Councilor Coleman. Um, and the, the motion is there on page 281. It's quite lengthy, but we're moving that the um, motion coming from Victim Services um, to proclaim National Human Trafficking Awareness Day on February 22nd, 2019, um, be proclaimed by you, Your Honor. Seeking a secretary? It was Councillor Coleman. Oh, Councillor Coleman? Yes. Any discussion as to why we shouldn't? Don't think we should support, we ask. Thank we you. We have had this in our county. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Any resolution? Oh, call the vote, I'm sorry. All those in favor? Opposed? Carried. Resolution? New business. We do have some in-camera items, so we'll call for a motion to move in camera. Councillor Pierce. Oh, Councillor. Sorry. Councillor Howes. Uh, moved by myself, seconded by Councillor McAlpine that Brant County Council convene in camera to discuss a proposed acquisition of property by the municipality, uh, PW 1906 Bishop State Road, PA. All those in favor? Okay, we're in camera. 